Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time, of course. It's gonna be a different video than what I, I, I normally do. As you can see, I'm actually in the Sam Houston National Forest. Camped at, hold on, diesel truck. Camping at the Kegel Recreation Area. I've already documented this several years ago. This is, this is one of my favorite places uh, as a waypoint stop if I'm camping in the Houston area. Kegel Recreation. Love it. Uh, it's, it's very convenient. So, what am I doing down here? What's this video all about, dude? This video is about not RV camping, believe it or not. So Trudy, she's gotta go in for a checkup. Got some warranty stuff. And uh, with, down here in Houston is the only place I, we can get it done. It's a weight distribution hitch. It's a noisy one too. <laughs> okay, so we're down here. Trudy's gotta go have a checkup because we've got a few minor warranty issues that need to be taken care of. Uh, and I'm not one of those people that I'm not gonna drop off my motor home and just let it sit and let them work on it whenever. So I'm coming down, we're doing a preliminary evaluation to see what all needs to be done. They'll order parts and then we'll schedule the service to be done. So I'll be coming back down this way. They don't want me sleeping in the RV. They, want, they don't want me in the motor home while it is on the lot. And they, they said they need a day or day and a half to evaluate it I, I i don't understand that but hey that that's not my thing the last two times i've done this uh the first time i stayed two day two nights in a hotel and they did they did some work uh, the second time i was only supposed to be in there for one day and it ran over and it actually became a two-day job and I had no reservations anywhere and so they were forced to let me stay on the property. They weren't really excited about that. But this time, I decided to do something different. You know, sleeping in a hotel room is not my thing. Sleeping in the RV repair facility, you know, that's all right if you don't have anywhere else to go. But I have somewhere else to go. There's a forest service campground I have yet to visit and properly document. And it's not too far from here. It's actually in the Sam Houston National Forest as well. So I'm gonna be spending uh, a couple of nights at Double Lake Recreation Area. And the first night, I'm gonna be uh, without a motor home. So, White Lightning is going to serve as my bed and breakfast. So I need to transfer over some stuff into White Lightning. And once I've got it all transferred and packed, I'll give you a look-see. And I'm, I'm gonna have a couple of videos come out of this. One is just gonna be the experience because I've never done the back of the truck camping thing. So that's gonna be a unique experience and I'm gonna, I'm gonna video that for you in case you wanna see how that plays out. I've got some interesting twists to what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, unexpected things, of course. And then I'll be doing a video on the, the camping campground proper and of course I've got Little Red with me so we'll be doing a scooter run. And you'll notice I didn't back white lightning in like that i disconnected and backed in and uh because i'm rolling before daylight and this is the only site that i could reserve at a short notice but it's plenty plenty roomy enough to do what i've done but in the morning i don't want to 
be messing with hooking up the flat toe, so I just got it all set up and we'll roll in the morning. And this is where I'm gonna get to put those tests, put those rock lights to the test. Cause when I rolled out of here the last time before sunrise, I couldn't see these posts cause it was so dark. And I couldn't really tell where the ditches were going out. So I'll be putting those rock lights to the test tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, I gotta get to work moving from there to there. Stay tuned, more to come. So one of the things, I, you know, when, when, you, when you travel in an RV and, and you're living the, the small life, uh putting everything in its place is is crucial and not having too much stuff is you know you don't have any options you don't have enough storage for all your stuff transferring from my motor home into the back of my truck for for one night i, I kind of overpacked but of course that's to be expected because you're always you're trying to think of continue what happens if what happens if what happens if and so the bed is actually going to be here uh, i haven't got that quite set up yet the mattress is in the back of the back seat but i, I it's coming together you know i've got my little gas grill i actually have uh, a lawn chair a table i already had a picnic table and this is my campsite, by the way. Uh, campsite number 51. It's a water and electric site. 30 and 50 amp. Uh, it slopes. There's a lot of slope to it. So I had to get while the truck in here kind of at a funky angle to get, get level. So I don't have a blood running to my head while I'm sleeping tonight. Once I get the, the back of the truck all sorted out, I'll... I'll cut back in and show you how that bed setup is going to work. Right now, I'm I'm working on getting some lunch because I'm hungry. But look at this beautiful campsite. You're going to have to make sure you check out. Make sure you you go and watch the the Double Lake Recreation Area videos. Not sure where with if they were before or after this particular pickup camping video. Probably before. So just go look through the Dude RV vlog and it'll be back three or four videos. This is a beautiful place. Anyway, let me get back to cooking some lunch and getting things sorted out and I'll cut back in once I have the, the bed situation set up. Stay tuned, more to come. So I got the... I've kind of finalized, I, I've kind of sort of finalized, kind of sort of maybe finalized the sleeping situation for tonight. I'm really wishing I had a, I had brought some shorts with me. It's December 13, 2021, and I brought nothing but long pants and shoes and socks. And it right now it's like 85, 90 degrees and it's humid. I'm wishing I had brought my shorts. Anyway, here's the sleeping accommodations for this evening. I don't have an air conditioner, but I actually brought my little Ryobi, Ryobi fan, and hopefully it's going to cool off this evening. My feet may be a little tall to fit under the, the shelf up there at the front. More to come on this later. Man. All right. Truck camping. Doing a little pickup camping. So, I've been running around shooting video for the experiential video of Double Lake and virtual scooter runs. I came back here and just kind of been kicking up, kicking back, putting my feet up, getting ready for this evening. Well, there's a chance of rain. And as hot as it currently is, I'm not gonna be able to completely close the, the camper 
I'm gonna have to leave the back open. But if it starts raining, that means my head would get wet. So I put a tarp. Fortunately, I remembered to bring some clamps. Oops, go to the other side. So I have clamps on both sides of the glass and then it'll close into the window. So if we get any rain, it'll maybe just dribble down on the inside. But more importantly, it'll, it, will, it will stay off of my head. So I, had, whoop, I had some concerns about my feet being too tall for the shelf I built up there. And then it occurred to me, I'm actually... I've got the mattress sitting on the ramp that I use to load the scooter rather than the false floor. So in, in case you in case you don't know, if you've never been to this channel before, I have a mobility scooter that I transport in the back of my truck and that requires the ability to load it. So I have this ramp that slides into a false floor that the scooter is attached to. I strap the scooter down to that to keep it from sliding around. The false floor actually has uh, tread stops to keep the wheels from rolling so I couldn't go straight on that because it's got two two lumps. Thought, well why don't I just lay on the ramp and since the majority of my weight will be up there it can it can overhang a little bit and my feet will be clear. Well oh. That's the sleeping accommodations. I'm traveling with the little Weber, I have a little Weber gas grill. And I have some charcoal that I can cook on the, the fire, but uh, most likely I'm going to do all my cooking on the, the little Weber grill. Of course, I always have a little fishing rig set up in the truck. You never know. It's a little telescoping rod with some a couple of lures and it just so happens that i've got time to go down and see if i can catch a you know catch a little fish while i'm hanging out here well that's that's the truck camping setup uh, i'll cut back in this after this evening when it gets dark and let you see how how all that plays out so meanwhile i got some fish to catch Well, good morning. Ah, it is muggy, humid. Everything is everything is wet, but hey, that's all right. So my thoughts on camping in the back of the truck, and it would be more simple and easier to have a tent and a cot or a tent cot or a, a hammock with a cover on it uh, that would definitely be much simpler than reconfiguring the truck to transport the scooter and then turn it into a bedroom unless i'm going to be someplace for a couple of nights because i had to basically unload the truck and then get the bed set up which was kind of reloading the truck and this morning, I had to reverse the whole process. So it would be much simpler if I had a, a bedroom, a sleeping arrangement outside of the back of the truck and the back of the truck could just be used uh, to transport everything. So we will be exploring those options. All right, hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it, first and foremost. I would be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. Getting so close to 15,000 subscribers and your help would be most appreciated. And for those of you who have been following along, man, thank you. That's why I'm on this journey. Because of you guys. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? Mm, good coffee. See you next time.